Welcome to PC Wits Gets Tech Talk. Today we're looking at a tip here on overclocking your ATI Radeon video card. Now, the most common thing that people use is the ATI Overdrive Utility. So when you download the ATI Catalyst drivers under Graphics here, you go all the way to the bottom, ATI Overdrive is there. Now, many people just use that because it comes built in after you unlock it and you enable the ATI Overdrive to auto-tune it. So the auto-tune takes care of everything for you and it basically adjusts these sliders to the appropriate values that it believes is stable okay and then after that if you decided you wanted to tweak that yourself you can actually manually slide those and set the uh, timings the clock speeds and uh, test the custom clocks of course make sure that the temperatures are uh, as low as possible of course by increasing the uh, fan speed so that way you can try to keep things cooler as you overclock so that's a must and then of course after you do the uh, testing it will tell you if it passed and you can accept those values that you've set okay so that's one of the simplest ways that I've um, overclocked in the past okay and sometimes I use it and sometimes I don't the other way to overclock is the MSI afterburner utility okay and the MSI afterburner utility works for both Nvidia and ATI cards We'll talk about NVIDIA in another video review, okay? So in this one here, we're just reviewing how I would just adjust manually the core clock, not the shader, because it doesn't have that option, and the memory clock for an ATI card. Okay, same thing as in the ATI overdrive utility, very similar. It allows you to also set the fan speed, and um, then you can apply it and save your settings in a profile that can be applied when the system boots up. Okay, but you can't use both. You can't use the MSI afterburner and the ATI uh, overclocking utility. There will be a conflict between both. Uh, same thing here. There's an AMD GPU clock tool, and that one allows you to also set the uh, GPU core clock. So 965 is what I had it, and uh, the memory clock. You can set the clocks there. Very simple, straightforward. The additional feature that it has is to also restore the default clocks and increase the voltages okay not always do all utilities have the option to set the voltage this one does and I use that for increasing the voltage from the default okay when I'm overclocking and um, again you can't use that also with the ATI uh, catalyst drivers because there's going to be a conflict if you adjust things in one place and then go back and adjust it in another tool it might reset things right or change things around so pick your tools usually um, you use the ATI control center by itself and uh, if you wanted to use the MSI afterburner and the ATI um, GPU clock tool, you can use those two together. Those two work fine, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I'll include the links to downloading these tools in the video description. And thank you for watching.